Hey guys, Nettie here. Welcome to this week's video. I am a self-taught artist on a journey to learn, grow, and improve my art skills. One of my personal favorite ways to learn and improve my art is by reading art educational books. I have a video on my channel where I share 5 tips I wish I knew as a beginner self-taught artist and one of the tips I mentioned was studying using art educational books. I asked you guys if you were interested in seeing a video of me sharing my art books and how I use them and I got a decent amount of positive response. By the way, if you're interested in learning the rest of the tips I shared in that video, I'll link it in the description. And if you aren't big on art educational books specifically, I do have an art book collection video up on my channel. That one's a little bit more chill and I basically share all my art books from artists that I love. So I'll link that in the description as well. The first thing I do before I jump into an art book is to set goals. You have to remember that unlike regular art books, you aren't just going to briefly read through it, admire the art and put it down until you're inspired to look at it again. These books are created for long term use. You can and should read them over and over while taking your time to understand the subjects being explained. I use Notion to track all my reading progress and no, this video is not sponsored. I just really love the platform and it helps me stay organized. The way I use my art book is actually quite simple. Basically, I have a pairing method where I pair an art book with a video resource similar to said art book. Personally, I do this for various reasons. For one, switching between mediums helps keep me motivated and makes the process fun and engaging. Doing this can also show a different perspective on the subjects as it is explained differently by different people. And personally, I just tend to remember more visual explanations rather than written ones. If you're thinking, What's the point of using the art book then? Just swap it out and watch the videos. Well, you're absolutely right. But hear me out, I've personally found there's a lot of reason using art books can be beneficial. For one, there's a lot of books out there with valuable information that don't have videos talking about those subjects. Or if they are, it's barely touching the surface and leaving out a lot of valuable information so the video isn't excessively long. And contradicting what I said about remembering better with visual explanations, I've also noticed that I don't always remember everything that's told to me. It feels like I didn't put in the work and for some reason, my brain just tends to let it go. But when I'm reading and let's say I come across a difficult chapter, try my best to understand it and end up doing so, I feel a lot more accomplished and trust me, I won't be forgetting that information anytime soon. The first book in my collection is a book I proudly stand by and that is Color and Light by James Gurney. I got this book off Amazon in 2019 and I cannot stress how much this book helped me improve my color theory. Color and Light basically entails what the title says and explains everything from sources of light, color relations, elements of color, surface and effects. This book is basically a painter's bible. I love the way James Gurney explains everything you need to know, down to explaining the technical side of things, but still keeping it simple and informative enough for anyone to understand. Like all the books I'll be mentioning in this video, it is visual heavy and mostly full of beautiful paintings by James Gurney himself. Although James Gurney has a YouTube channel, and as much as I know his videos are very informative, I personally paired this book alongside watching Marco Busi's videos. Marco Busi's channel consists of videos that are short, fun and extremely easy to understand, which makes his channel a perfect bride for this book. A good example would be pairing chapter 2 and 3, Sources of Light and Light and Form, with Marco Bussi's videos, Ambient Inclusion for Painters and Understanding Shadow Colors. Both Marco Bussi and James Gurney are phenomenal painters and if this is your first time hearing about them, I strongly advise you check them out. The human body is extremely complicated, but over the years, we've seen masterful artwork that depicts the figure in beautiful, precise form. Andrew Loomis' Figure Drawing for All Is Worth is a book I recommend for any artist who's interested in capturing the beauty of the human body. Just a heads up, because this book focuses on depicting the human figure, it does contain artistic nudity. The book ranges from topics like proportion, anatomy, form, and the procedures of drawing a live figure. All the sketches by Andrew Loomis are beautifully drafted and as much as I would love to show you, I'm totally unsure of how YouTube might react to even artistic nudity. So sadly, this is something you have to experience on your own. 
although i would say in comparison to all the other books this one is a bit more text heavy as for video resources i paired this book with proko's figure drawing and anatomy of the human body playlist that you can find here on youtube because this book focuses on figure drawing topics like anatomy are only briefly mentioned and not explained in full detail this is why I highly recommend watching Proko's anatomy videos alongside reading this book to get a more in-depth explanation on the human skeleton and muscles. The next book is called Drawing the Head and Hands and it's a book also by Andrew Loomis. As the title says, this book breaks down all the principles of drawing the human head and hands into simple geometric forms and then building up details from there. It also goes as far as explaining how to draw children heads, teenage heads, baby heads and it does it in a way that can be understood by anyone from non-artist to absolute beginner. The final two chapters focus on drawing the human hands and I'm gonna be honest, I haven't fully read these chapters yet. But this book has been recommended by so many amazing artists that I'm certain it's going to be just as informative as the chapters explaining the head. For this book, I also recommend Proko's playlist talking about drawing the head in different angles. It's basically a video explanation of the Loomis method, but if you have a bit of money and you like to take your knowledge a bit further, I recommend watching Marco Butti's video lesson on understanding and painting the head, which is available on Skillshare with a premium subscription, or you can buy his full lesson from his store for $30, not sponsored by the way. His lesson focuses on understanding the planes and the structure of the human head, how it interacts with light, and how to paint it. I personally learned a lot from this course and it really helped me feel more confident in my portraiture. If you're like me and you struggle a bit with composition, I recommend you get Framed Ink by insert name on the screen because I am scared I might mispronounce it. Framed Ink gives a perfect example of why composition is needed for every form of art, be it illustration, animation, film, or comics. Before reading this book, I actually thought composition only meant implementing the rule of thirds or the golden ratio into your art, but Framed Ink explains the bigger picture of composition and how it's used to set a mood, tell visual story, and guide your viewer's eyes across your artwork. It touches on topics from drawing and composing a single image to composing for continuity. I must say, this is one book that I found it difficult to find a perfect video to pair it with because it's just so in-depth and thorough that no video I have watched on composition can stand a chance next to it. Well, until recently. This might be a bit different from other recommendations, but I'm currently taking Irie Pan's schoolism class called Foolproof Concept Painting. And the crash course lesson on composition was handled so well that it helped me understand composition maybe even a bit more than Framed Ink. So again, if you have some money to spare, you can get yourself a Schoolism subscription and check out her class not only for the lesson on composition, but for the amazing subjects she's teaching. The last book in my collection is a book that focuses on a very infamous topic for artists, and that is Perspective Made Easy by Ernest R. Rowling. I discovered the book through watching a Draftsman podcast and it was recommended by Marshall. I myself struggle with perspective, so of course it got my attention and I decided to add it to my collection. Because perspective is such a complex and complicated subject, I'm taking much more time with this book to ensure I can understand all the principles properly. But of course, because of that, I haven't made that much progress and I've currently only read 17% of the book. I sadly don't have any video recommendations to pair with this book. Just like Framed Ink, this book goes extremely in-depth into perspective in a very simple and understandable format and I haven't seen one video that goes as in-depth as this. I found that some chapters can get a bit technical and complicated but in general, the author does an amazing job in explaining perspective by showing simple examples that can explain all the principles in a simple, digestible format. In conclusion, art books are a great way to study art, and if you don't use them yet, I hope this video has given you the inspiration to get some yourself and sharpen your skill sets. So if you're a returning subscriber, you probably noticed the format of this video is totally different from my usual. I'm experimenting with a new editing style for various reasons, and I think I've decided on taking something along this route. So I would really appreciate if you could tell me what you guys think about the video and the new style in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I sincerely hope you enjoyed.